Welcome back everyone to another episode of CWG Studios. Today we are taking a look at the 75337 ATTE Walker. This set retails for $140. Now let's get into the time lapse.
So here is the set. We have three battle droids, one spider droid, and five clone troopers. Let's take a look at the troopers. So here is Commander Cody. The figure does look very good. Every clone trooper in the set does have damage markings and some built-in paint scratches. However, I did notice that my figure had some missing printing on the inside of the knee. These do use the new helmet mold, which means there are two holes. The second higher one is for the visors and range finders, and it really is very inaccurate and horrible, but it will not change anytime soon, most likely. Here is the back printing for Cody, and the head is this. This is the driver. Interestingly enough, this one does not have damage on the legs, but it does have damage on the head and torso. Printing is very good. Again, new helmet mold, and the head is one of these. These next three are all the same. They all have the same head. The only difference for these battle droids is that they now have a gunmetal gray gun instead of black. Here is the spider droid, very similar design to previous ones. One thing that they really should have done better on this set is a good droid build to have. There weren't really any spider droids on Utapu, which is where the set takes place. And there were crab droids, and we've never gotten an official crab droid figure. So that would have been much better to include. And even if it costed more money, I think people would have preferred it, because it would have made a more cohesive set. Here is the at, -AT and I must say, it looks fantastic. Of course, there are some gaps in the armor plating, but that, you know, that can't be avoided too much. It has this carry handle at the top, and it's good for holding, however, it does rotate, which makes it a little less, you know, assuring when you're holding it. So when you're holding it, it could roll out of your fingers if you're holding it like this. So it's not the best, but it does work. Additionally, it's very front heavy. Every detail on here is a sticker. Unfortunately, there were no printed pieces for the actual walker. So let's take a look at some play features. Here's the cockpit. It is very easy to get a figure in there. This comes out as its own little piece. Then you can simply get your figure ready, put them in there. And then you take this unit and you slide it in. And there you have it. Of course, your four front cannons move on ball joints, so they can move with pretty good axes. However, these top ones can't really aim down at all. This is the gun turret. It has two stud shooters of the new design, which look much better when unloaded. It does not move freely. It has restrictors, so it does vibrate quite a lot when you move it. And this is very easy for you to put a figure into. You just do that. They stay in pretty well, but they do rattle a ton when you move it around. And I have gotten one like that. Additionally, the turret does have pretty good range of motion. You can lift up the turret area like so. It doesn't go up too high, so it's hard to like get your hand in there. But we have a ton of features inside. So back here we have a crate that has some binoculars inside. On this side we have a grenade rack down there, and two seats. We can also take a look inside the back. You simply uncouple these right here. That folds down like that, and that folds up like that. And then we get this really cool interior. We have a gun rack here, an extra area here if you want more boxes. Here we have a control panel for the two back guns. A seat, of course, little 
fire hydrant. That's not a fire hydrant. A fire extinguisher. We also have a little coffee mug down here. So, is this a set I would recommend at retail price? I would say they have been harder to find, so I think you should get one where you can. Also, the Commander Cody sells for about the same price as a custom printed Commander Cody, so you can basically choose whichever one you want. I already have a Phase 2 Commander Cody custom, so I'll sell this one and recoup some of the money I spent for this set, but it really is a great ATTE walker. It's a great scale. The figures, even if the helmet molds are really horrible and inaccurate and will last for a long time, it's still a great figure selection. It's a great set. If you did enjoy this video, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, or doing anything else you think could help the channel. It's highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. You may or may not see me next time.